Hi again everyone, Scott Pyre, Pop Cult Fan here, and in this video, I just saw the season 2 finale of The Santa Clauses, and I want to give my review for this, uh, for this season. I'm wearing my trusty jacket for this video, because, you know, it's a, almost like a Santa kind of coloring with the jacket and all that, so yeah. Um, all right, um, the Santa Clauses, you know, what I have to say about this new season is that I've enjoyed it, you know, um, from beginning to end, it's an enjoyable show, and you always love Tim Allen as his character. Um, uh, he really embodies his character, and he always has ever since the original film, um, and what I really like about this show is that it's a family comedy, you know, it focuses on scott and his wife and um, now they're two kids as well uh, and i liked how in the first season they established that you know they established um like this family dynamic and carrying over into the second season they do some more interesting things with the two kids um exhibiting abilities uh magic and it was really interesting seeing how they uh, handled that. And also another thing I really liked about this uh, show is that they're delving a little bit more into the fantastical side of the North Pole, where they start to show like other kinds of creatures other than just the, the elves. Like there's gnomes, there's uh, witches. Uh, and that's what I like about this show. It's going into this more fantastical uh part of the North Pole that we've never seen before in the movies and I think that's really um, fascinating and also I gotta give a big wave to Eric Stone Street as Magnus Antis aka Mad Santa I really enjoyed that villain um and I really liked that they were able to you know have him they gave him a good ending by the end of the season and i liked that um i will admit that there were times where some of his performance just felt a little bit cheesy um but it it, it fit with the tone of the show which does lead into some criticism that i do have with this season as well as the first season i just feel like it delves so much into humor that it does just doesn't always work like um I mean, I will admit that there are times that I really do enjoy it, but at the same time, um, it just feels so, like, the humor just feels so cheesy at times. Um, and it's a Disney Plus show, so I, I get it. Uh, and I enjoy it. Uh, I do. Um, but, you know, some of the humor just doesn't all work for me uh, in this show, especially in season two. And another character that's in this season that you know worked with mad santa was the gnome at first i thought it was the same actress that played betty but uh, it wasn't I, 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 she looked really uh similar and sounded similar to the actress that played betty but no it was different different actress but i liked the gnome character i liked how uh she had this very edgy personality and it, she would always butt heads with mad santa um and uh, there was which led to some humorous moments and there's this other character who actually ties back to the movies uh this guy uh named chris and what they did with his character i thought was interesting and how what was going on with him and what he was doing sort of led to the mad santa rising again and i thought that was really fascinating and how we get to see this backstory of the mad santa that we learn as the as scott and his wife and their kids start to piece together this backstory of the mad santa character which i thought was really fascinating and how it connected with the the elves and the history of the elves i, th I thought all of that was uh, really an interesting and also, you know, gotta give props to the music as well. You know, uh, the score was really good in this season. Uh, I was I was really happy with the music. You know, those uh, famous Christmas songs that you always hear um, were used in this season, and I, I love hearing those Christmas songs. I really do. And 
overall the production, while I, you know, it's made on a TV budget, so it's not, it doesn't feel quite as grand as the movies did, but, you know, the production is still really good for a Disney Plus show uh, that's a sequel story to the movies. And, and the one actor that I was hoping would appear again in this season was Eric Lloyd as Charlie. He had a guest appearance in the first season, uh, but he didn't come back in this season, which is why I I just I kind of wish he, we had gotten more of his character in the show because I felt like he was sort of like the Andy Barkley of this franchise uh, with the movies and. I hope they bring him back at some point, either in a season three or in another movie, if they make another movie, which I've heard that that's, that might be in the talks, like they might make another Santa Claus movie. And it's in, dis I think it's in discussion phase right now as I'm recording this video. So we shall see. Um, I thought this was a really enjoyable season. And if they do another season, I'm definitely gonna uh, cover that on my channel. and. I, just, I, I thought it was a really good season uh, but also at the same time I think I preferred season 1 a little bit more I liked the villain in season 1 just a little bit more than I did the Mad, Sa Mad Santa character and that's what I had to say about that alright guys um, if I had to give a grade I'd probably give it like a A- minus. that'd be my grade for the season and that should do it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you all next time peace